So today I'm gonna to show you how to make five rice dishes that are made with just five ingredients each and each one comes together in 30 minutes or less. Ladies and gentlemen, this is where simplicity meets the extraordinary and let me tell you, all five of these dishes have an insane amount of flavor to them. They're all so easy to make and again, each one is made with just five ingredients. These are the perfect meals for any day of the week but they're extra special on those busy weeknights where you don't have a lot of time but you want something that comes together quickly and is full of flavor. Now to make a couple of these rice dishes, you are gonna need some saffron. Make sure you use the high quality stuff. We're using minimum green here so that saffron is going to really shine through. As always, I'm using saffron threads from Golden Saffron and like I always tell you guys, this is one of the best saffrons in the market when it comes to price to quality ratio. You cannot beat this. Get yourself a tin. Don't settle for anything inferior. Link in the description box below. For our first rice dish, we are making a vegetable rice. This is such a delicious dish and it's a great way to add more vegetables into your diet. Insane amount of flavors and done in under 30 minutes. The five ingredients you're gonna need to make this dish are one red bell pepper, one zucchini, about eight button mushrooms, three cloves of garlic, and one cup of round rice. I'm gonna begin by grabbing a large nonstick frying pan, heating it with a medium high heat, and adding in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. One minute after heating the olive oil, I'm gonna add in the bell pepper in there. I cut it into half inch pieces. Our zucchini, I cut it into quarter inch rounds and then into half shaped moons. And our button mushrooms, I cut these into quarter inch thick slices and start mixing the vegetables around with the extra virgin olive oil. You don't have to mix this continuously, but do get in there once in a while. That way everything cooks evenly and nothing burns. We are cooking on a medium high heat. About five minutes after adding the vegetables into the pan, and those zucchinis have a nice translucent color. You don't want to overcook the vegetables. I'm going to add in our three cloves of garlic. I finely mince these. Season everything with sea salt, and freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm gonna mix this all together until it's well combined. At this point, you wanna mix this continuously, that way those garlics don't burn, and we're not gonna go that long here. We're just gonna go between 30 to 40 seconds. Then I'm gonna add in a generous two and a half cups of cold water. Season the water with a little sea salt and give it a quick mix, that way everything's evenly divided. Once the water comes to a boil, I'm gonna add in one cup of round rice. I love using round rice, it's very similar to medium grain rice. However, you can use whatever rice you want. However, the rice to water ratios might be different, so check the package instructions for that. I'm gonna give it a gentle mix, that way everything's evenly divided. I don't like to mix the rice after this step because it disrupts the way that the rice cooks, but you can always give the pan a quick shake once in a while. All right, it's been about 11 to 12 minutes since we added the rice into the pan and this dish looks like it's perfectly cooked. As you can see, there is no water left. It's all been absorbed by that rice. I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat and cover it with a dishcloth. We're just gonna let this sit here for about two minutes. This is gonna help finish cooking up that rice, guys. Our first rice dish is done. Look how insane this vegetable rice looks. And like I told you guys earlier, this is such a great way to add more vegetables into your diet. Insane amount of flavor, easy to make, made with just five simple ingredients and done in 30 minutes. For our second recipe, we are making a shrimp and asparagus rice dish. This is one of my personal favorite dishes. It has such an amazing flavor to it and it's so easy to put together. Let me tell you, this comes together in 30 minutes and it's all done using just one pan. The five ingredients you're gonna need to make this beautiful rice dish are 15 stalks of fresh asparagus, 12 jumbo shrimp that have been peeled and deveined. I bought mine frozen and thawed them out, three cloves of garlic, half a teaspoon of high quality saffron threads, and one cup of round rice. All right, let's start cooking our dish. I'm gonna grab a large nonstick frying pan, heat it with a medium high heat, and add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. One minute after heating the olive oil, I'm gonna add in the asparagus in there. I cut these into one inch pieces. Now you wanna get in there and mix these with the extra virgin olive oil. Once again, you don't have to mix this continuously, but do get in there once in a while. That way they all cook evenly and they don't burn. We are cooking on a medium high heat. 
two minutes after adding the asparagus into the pan and they have a beautiful light golden color, you don't want to overcook them. I'm going to add in our three cloves of garlic. Again, I finely mince these and mix the garlics around with the asparagus. Again, guys, very important. Mix this continuously. That way those garlics don't burn. About 20 seconds after adding the garlics into the pan. Again, you do not want to overcook these. I'm going to add in one cup of round rice our half teaspoon of high quality saffron threads and season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm gonna mix this all together until it's well combined. Once everything's well mixed, I'm gonna add in two and a half cups of cold water into the pan and give this a gentle mix. That way everything's evenly divided. And once again, guys, I don't like to mix the rice after I add the water in there because it disrupts the way that it cooks. But like I always tell you guys, you can always give the pan a quick shake once in a while. That way everything's evenly spread out. About eight minutes after adding the water into the pan, I'm gonna grab our shrimp and start adding them in there. I've seasoned these with sea salt and black pepper. And again, guys, you can always give the pan a quick shake once in a while. All right, it's been a total of 11 to 12 minutes since I added the water into the pan. As you can see, there's virtually no water left. This dish is ready to go. I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat. And once again, I'm gonna cover this with a dishcloth. Just let it sit here for about two minutes. This finishes cooking up that rice, guys. Our second dish is done. Like I told you guys earlier, this is one of my personal favorite dishes. You've got that asparagus, the shrimp, the combination of them together is an explosion of flavors and that saffron really shines through, guys. Such a beautiful dish made with five ingredients, done in 30 minutes. For our third recipe, we are making a creamy mushroom rice. This dish is above and beyond delicious. The rice has an incredible creamy texture and those mushrooms add a beautiful flavor. This one is so easy to make, made with five very basic ingredients and comes together in 30 minutes. The ingredients you're gonna need to make this recipe are one liter of vegetable broth. This equals about four and a quarter cups, half of an onion, three cloves of garlic, 12 button mushrooms, and one cup of round rice. I'm gonna begin by grabbing a large nonstick frying pan, heating it with a medium heat, and adding in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. Very important to use a large pan here, that way it can hold all that broth. One minute after heating the olive oil, I'm gonna add in half of an onion that I finely diced, and three cloves of garlic that I finely minced and start mixing the garlics and the onions with the extra virgin olive oil. Once again, very important to mix this continuously. That way nothing burns and everything cooks evenly. Two minutes after adding the onions and the garlic into the pan, and those onions are nice and translucent, I'm gonna add in the 12 button mushrooms. I cut these into slices that are a quarter inch thick and continue to mix this all together again. Very important to mix this continuously, that way nothing burns and everything cooks evenly. And as you guys can see, while we're mixing all this together, those onions are still cooking and they're starting to get a beautiful caramelized color. This is perfectly normal. This is what gives this dish that incredible depth of flavors. Two minutes after adding the mushrooms into the pan and they've developed a very light golden color, I'm gonna season everything with sea salt, and freshly cracked black pepper. Mix it all together. Add in the one cup of round rice. And once again, mix this all together until it's well combined. And we're gonna cook the rice for two minutes before we add the broth in there. Again, very important. You wanna continue to mix this during these next two minutes. Then I'm gonna pour in the one liter of vegetable broth again, guys. This equals four and a quarter cups. And get in there and mix it around so everything's evenly divided. Unlike other rice dishes, you wanna mix this one around once in a while. You don't have to do this consistently. This is not like a risotto where you have to be a slave to this and just mix it the entire time. Just get in there about every other minute, give it a quick mix. This helps release the starch from the rice, which is what gives this dish that beautiful creamy texture.
All right, it's been between 16 to 18 minutes since I added the broth into the pan. And you can see that broth has turned into a beautiful creamy texture. The secret was mixing around every other minute. Guys, look how beautiful this looks. And you want there to be a little extra broth on there. At this point, I'm gonna remove this from the heat. And our third rice dish is done. Guys, look how insane this creamy mushroom rice looks. You've got that incredible creamy texture. The mushrooms add such a beautiful flavor. This one uses five of the simplest ingredients, but the flavors will completely blow you away. So easy to make, done in 30 minutes. Moving down the list to our fourth recipe, we are making a tuna and green bean rice dish. This is such an amazing dish, loaded with so many different textures and flavors. You got the tuna, the green beans, when you combine them together, it's an absolute explosion of flavors. So easy to make and once again, done in 30 minutes. The five ingredients you're gonna need to make this rice dish are about 20 fresh green beans, two tuna steaks, I bought these frozen and thawed them out, three cloves of garlic, half a teaspoon of high quality saffron threads, and one cup of round rice. As always, I'm gonna begin by grabbing a large nonstick frying pan, heating it with a medium high heat, and adding in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. One minute after heating the olive oil, I'm gonna add in the green beans into the pan. I cut these into one inch pieces. You wanna mix these around with the extra virgin olive oil, and you wanna do this continuously, that way they all cook evenly and nothing burns. Two minutes after adding the green beans into the pan and they have a beautiful light golden color, you don't wanna overcook them. I'm gonna add in three cloves of garlic. Once again, I finely minced these and continue to mix this together. Very important to mix this continuously, that way nothing burns. 20 seconds after adding the garlics into the pan, you don't wanna overcook them. You want them to be nice and aromatic. I'm gonna add in one cup of round rice, our half teaspoon of saffron threads, and season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm gonna mix this all together until it's well combined. Once everything is well mixed, I'm gonna add in two and a half cups of cold water and season the water with a little sea salt. And we'll give it a gentle mix, that way everything's evenly divided. Six minutes after adding the water into the pan and we have this beautiful boil, I'm gonna add in the tuna steaks into the pan. I cut these into one inch squares and season them with sea salt and black pepper. And at this point, you wanna get in there and give this a gentle mix. That way that tuna is evenly divided. All right, it's been a total of 11 to 12 minutes since I added the water into the pan. As you guys can see, there is no water left in there. This amazing rice dish is ready to go. I'm gonna remove it from the heat. And for the final step, cover it with a dishcloth. Such an important step. This finishes up cooking up that rice, guys. Our fourth dish is done. Look how insane this looks, like I told you guys. You mix that tuna with the green beans. It is an explosion of flavors. So easy to make using just five ingredients and comes together in 30 minutes. For our final recipe, we are making a gorgeous rice dish with chickpeas and spring onions. Again, this one promises to be one of the best rice dishes you've ever tasted. It is so hearty and delicious. It's loaded with protein thanks to those chickpeas. So easy to make and comes together in under 30 minutes. Now the ingredients you're gonna need to make this rice dish is one cup of cooked chickpeas. I'm using jarred ones, but you can also use canned ones. Three cloves of garlic, one teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, one spring onion, I'm gonna be using the bulb and the green leaves, and one cup of round rice. I'm gonna begin by grabbing a large nonstick frying pan, heating it with a medium high heat, and adding in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil. One minute after heating the olive oil, I'm gonna add in the three cloves of garlic. I thinly slice these. And the bulb of the spring onion, which I finely diced. And start mixing the onions and the garlic with that extra virgin olive oil. Very important to mix this continuously, that way nothing burns and everything cooks evenly. Two minutes after adding the onions and the garlics into the pan, and those onions are nice and translucent, you don't want to overcook this, I'm gonna add in the one cup of cooked chickpeas. I rinse these beforehand. The one teaspoon of sweet smoked Spanish paprika, 
and season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And I'm gonna mix this all together until it's well combined. We wanna do this pretty quickly. Like I always tell you guys, when you add paprika into a hot pan, if you leave it in there too long, it gets a bitter flavor. Once it's well mixed, I'm gonna add in the one cup of round rice and the green leaves from the spring onion. I roughly chopped these. And once again, mix this all together until it's well combined. Then I'm gonna add in two and a half cups of cold water. Season the water with a little sea salt. And I'm gonna get in there and give this a gentle mix. That way everything's evenly divided. Like I told you guys in a couple of the previous recipes, after this step, you don't wanna mix the rice. This is not like the creamy mushroom, where you do wanna mix it once in a while. That way that rice releases the starch to give it a creamy texture. This is a dry rice. If you mix it after this step, it destroys the texture of the rice. All right, it's been between 11 to 12 minutes since I added the water into the pan and this rice dish looks like it's ready to go. As you can see, there's no water left in that pan. I'm gonna remove this from the heat. And once again, I'm gonna cover it with a dishcloth and just let it sit there between two to three minutes, guys. Our fifth and final rice dish is done. Look how beautiful this looks and the flavors are gonna completely blow your way between that sweet smoked Spanish paprika, those spring onions, the chickpeas, the rice. It is an absolute explosion of flavors. So easy to make, made with just five ingredients and done in under 30 minutes. <laughs> That's it guys, all five of our rice dishes are done. Each one turned out so beautiful and you guys saw, so easy to make, but the best part, each dish made with just five ingredients. Give these a try, they're gonna completely blow you away. Really quick before I go, I'd like to give out a quick shout out to one of my patrons, David Blom. Again, David, thank you so much for all your support. I truly appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you want to support Spain on a Fork on Patreon, help with ingredients and equipment to continue making video sites, you'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and I card above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and if you're not subscribed, smash that subscribe button. Till the next time, hasta luego.